we got to hear about your, well, there's so many things to catch up on. Yeah. Well, you're going to be disappointed because. Oh, no, no. Don't, don't, I was don't proud spoil. of myself. No spoilers. Okay. Now? We got to wait for Jeremy to say he's ready. Okay. And I don't know if that's true. It's another episode of that Uncle Weepy's Depression <laughs> Dungeon. <laughs> Your hosts, <laughs> Joy mind. Moeller, Paul Armstrong, Charlie, and Charlie Jeremy Fuchsa. Oh, hey, Paul, something's wrong yeah. with your microphone. You don't sound right. Okay, let me check. Everybody sounds fine to me. My sound settings, sir. You're, it says use browser setting under your settings. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> My <laughs> sound we input is... We don't want bad. you to do that at all. Here we go. All right. How's that? Oh, that sounds much better. There we go. Hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. It's another episode of nah. Uncle Weepy's Depression Dungeon. With your hosts, Joy Moeller, Paul Armstrong, and Jeremy Fuchsa. How's everybody's genitals doing today? Oof. Oh. Clean. Sat right on them. Ugh. Sick. Uh, that's right. Nothing. <sighs> Nothing's going on. I just right. need human interaction. It doesn't happen often these mm. days. What were you doing the, in Atlanta? The sound well, that was human people. interaction, but, you know. I was oh. doing work in Atlanta. Yeah. Snore. Yeah. With clients who sure. pay money. That's good. Yeah. And you were there in person, like sitting in their office? Mm hmm Did you give a presentation? No. We wing it. What what kind of work was it? Uh, so we're focusing mainly on just being strategy innovation help not necessarily executors but ones that will help people who's we better it's a friend of mine from college he's oh in my Atlanta. god what's what's the name of the company i can't say yet no your company but i can't when say you yet. and your friend are doing where you strategize I can't, I, I can't say yet why because we're gonna launch soon oh my god this is so exciting yeah yeah i didn't know I, that there i've been was i've be been a... creating a brand it's uh, two brands Two different brands for one entity, and now do you think that'll get confusing? Probably, but one's for a space, and one is for work. This is very exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One when space is, it launch? is for. We have a VR AR experience lab. We have a what? Uh, a center event area space. Yeah, that'll be okay. Hold on. So, like, are, did you buy a building? A week or two. Yeah, he uh, he has access to a building in Al Alpharetta, which is a huge tech area. Oh, in Atlanta. I'm very familiar with Alpharetta. Yeah, yeah. My sister lives very close. Yeah, it's it's a really nice area. <laughs> she lives in Marietta. It is. It's a it's a really really nice area. But so, so this yeah. is going down in Atlanta. That's where he is. I could stay here. Um, are you going to move? He to just Atlanta? has a lot of good. Nah, probably not. Not with kids in college and stuff, but sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm very excited. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Are you Jeremy, going did you to know about this? not? No, no. no I'm, I'm, I'm hearing it all. Brandy. I'm all hush hush about this. Yeah, this is. <laughs> he's really Good trying time. not to fuck this up. Yeah. Exactly okay, I'll stop right. asking. Yeah. That is so God true. knows you will. I guess I, I really. Oh, Jesus, that's more <laughs> true than it should be. Oh, okay. So next week. Uh, hopefully. Trees wrap it up for tonight. Trying to get, trying to get, trying to get email invites out for a uh, launch party stuff. Oh. So very um, nice, very nice, thing? very nice. Yeah, yeah, Are yeah. you going to develop a virtual reality game or uh, uh, version of the Victorian game Hot Cockles? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I can look at this up now. Hot Cockles. Hot cockles. Oh, I don't. That's going to bring up some really bad cockles. I get hot cocktails, and that is not what I'm. Nope. That's not what you. Hot nope. It's a, it's a real game. It's a real game. You can play it. All right. Hot cockles. Hot uh, cockles. A children's game. Mm -hmm. Blindfolds. Mm -hmm. 
And then they try to guess who hit them? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> that Fantastic. sounds like heads up. up that sounds like... Uh, do you ever play Heads Up 7 Up? Oh, yeah. It's a way yeah. more extreme version of Heads Up 7 Up. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Instead of tagging their thumbs, you're smacking them with, yep. what, with a bat awesome. or something. Yep. What are you hitting them with? Uh, you're hitting them with what you got, you know? Yeah. And whatever's, you got to guess like, whatever's whose handy. Fist that is. It's like, oh. Your leg? Woo. That fist felt like Margaret. Yep. Who's cutting? Somebody's I doing am. crafts. I've got a craft Joy's crafting. Oh, <laughs> Joy, okay, hold on. We, let's, I'm done, sorry. Let's crafting. just stop right now. What the I'm hell sorry. is going on over uh, it? Over in the... <laughs> what is even happening? <laughs> I am just trying to multitask and do some crafts. <laughs> I can't believe you knew that was cutting. That was good. We should play a game like that we where we just play. make noises. Oh, God, yeah. It couldn't be any oh, now more we're morning boring DJs. than last oh. week's show. <laughs> now we're morning DJs. Shock jock. All right. I'll stop cutting for the moment. I think, I think I've got everything. <laughs> last, week's, last week's show was, was good, but I didn't worry about editing out the, the awkward silences. Yeah. And they were they were awkward. Yeah. What yeah. awkward silences yeah. did we have? I can't uh, our, our thinking times. Oh yes, thinking times. Yes, our thinking times. I didn't. I didn't shorten our thinking times, and it came. Were out. they funny or were they just uncomfortable? I, Which is also it funny. all depended on what the question. I need to listen. Was. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Oh oh oh! The question. The yes. Question. We're gonna yes. play that game again. Oh, okay. <laughs> when we're this, this time, it's with I cutting. still say we go with my. Which is you have to go with your very first thought. That makes it go yeah. quack. Quack? Yeah, quack. and you can't ask Jeez. questions about, like, I don't know. What was the one? Whatever like, the, is my whatever wife the there? dumb, dumbest first thing that comes to your head, you have to say. Jazz. That's what I do every day. Jazzity jazz. Jazz, yeah, jazz, I, jazz. I'm, I'm pretty good at doing that already. Mm-hmm. Jazzity jazz. Jeremy, how's things? Things are things are good. Things are great. Uh, I saw your medium. What's your dad uh, doing? You had your whole medium thing launched. Yeah, today. I had a me. Yeah, had had a what, medium. What is it? Got a medium thing. I had a stupid day at work. So. Oh uh, well, our our like, uh, uh, the UX department. Like you can see dead people. No, the UX department at work has has opened their own, uh, has opened their own medium for think pieces. No, and, okay. And this has it, been in thought the leadership. I I don't know if it's been in the I don't know it's just something that all of a sudden hey we we've got this you know somebody's like hey we got this thing and and he wrote this thing and yeah there's one there's post. one post these things every company does and then they last a week and uh huh who's gonna write this nobody writes it nobody's gonna write it I don't know um I it oh joy joy left what joy left great great. <sighs> It's this again. Oh, God damn it. She's really crafting. She really is crafting. Maybe man. she She's cut crafting a wire. it up. Oh, God. <laughs> cut the USB she cut, wire. She cut, oh, oh, shit. Uh, oh, man. I got, I got to tell you, this, 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 I, I've gone to some different headphones, and this sounds terrible. What's the brand? Well, um, ah, some Chinese knockoff thing, but it, uh-oh. So I was I had been using um the gaming headset that the boys have and it was you know fine fine and and wonderful but these are actually in ear uh stage monitors Oh yeah you know those kinds that kind of you know fill up your whole ear they don't have a they don't have a whole lot of uh sonic range to them they're very they're very honky Flat. Yeah, like they're, they're very flat. honky. Yeah, they're flat. That's it. They're honky in the mid range. Joy, are you honky in the mid range? Aren't all white people? Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Honky in the mid range. That sounds like a bad Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle song. Mm-hmm. Honky, honky in the, the mid range. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know they wrote songs. That's their. Thing. Uh so I I. Dropped out for a second. You did. You did. And yeah. now I'm back. But that's, um, that's all right. We were just talking about my honky mid range. Um, where where do I go to monitors. learn about this? 
on your social media? Uh, you oh, where do you go to learn about what? He's going to oh, write a the, medium post about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you how can, did you, if you how just did go Paul to Facebook? Know? It was I posted on Facebook. Okay, sorry that I wasn't on there today because I had a lot of deadlines. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> okay. Okay then. Well, I, I look forward to reading about it offline. <laughs> sure. It's 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 good. It's riveting. Um, <laughs> but does yeah. it fulfill you professionally? Not yet. Okay. Well, it's only been a day. It's only been a day. I don't have anything to do with it at the moment. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe it will be my turn to be fulfilled someday. Maybe. We'll see. You should raise your hand and volunteer for something. Oh, yeah. Like I need to do more of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, silences. What were we? We were going to be. We were going to talk about something. I forgot. What well. It was. We were going to talk about the, we were going to talk about the meeting. Yeah, yeah. Is no, that I'll tell you? Is, is that oh, is it oh is boy. it for is it for consumption, or is it under um, is it under the blanket clause? Well, let's. Oh, guess who it is? Hey, it's squeaking the crinkles. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, baby. <laughs> oh gosh. Say hi. Hi! Oh wow! Wow! wow. Oh, Mike. <laughs> what are you? No. Hello. No. Okay. No. All right. Give me a kiss. I want you to lay with me. I will after this. Okay. How many? Did minutes? you just toot? How many minutes? How many minutes? How many minutes? Seconds. Sixty. Heart to heart. Mm, how come sixty? Because that is what it takes. Okay. I no. love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. He's not wearing any pants. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah. Um, let's let's see how I how I speak of it. Well, I okay. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna preemptively Flag. drop a. Oh, okay. So there it is. There it is. There it is. Uh, I'm going to assume well, it's not going in the show, so I'm gonna put an outro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. <coughs> uh, yeah, it's probably just not vague enough. Yeah. Yeah. Got a little too specific there in the middle, so. Yeah. But it was the only way I could tell it. And, and that's fine. That's totally okay. fine. Okay. That's totally fine. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Wanted to hear the story. I'd love a, I would love a controversial episode where. A week later, Joe Joy gets us all fired. I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not a very right. special Maybe. episode of Uncle Weepy's The Very special <laughs> Weepy of Uncles. <laughs> oh, that's what I need to do. man. You guys terrified of getting uh, the, nor the coronavirus? Uh, I was briefly terrified, no. sure. Mm, mm. You know. I'm not. I just, it's my daughter, a, a lot, every my day, way. every day my daughter texts me, can I panic now? I'm like, no, you can't. She's like, but there's like more cases. Well, she, I don't know. I don't know that I was terrified. Let me, let me, let me, let me step back. Terrified? No. Um, vigilant? Yes. Uh, spending a lot of Where? time researching it initially. <laughs> wow. And then I was like, eh, okay. Sounds it, pretty, like you know, swine flu all over I, I'm going to get the shits. Okay. And then I was fine. And then I was like, eh, maybe, you know, just, just in case things do go sideways, maybe just having some surgical masks around the house. But nope, they're all out on Amazon. So, no, we got, I thankfully got, uh, I got a whole box full a couple weeks ago, unrelated where, to this. Okay, okay. Where are there cases? There's only five in the U.S., and it's uh -huh. California, Chicago, uh, Chicago, maybe one in, Texas. There's not many. Basically, there isn't uh -huh. many. No, there are not many. So, uh -huh. and for one, and like if it does come people, through, right? it will get contained very quickly. Yeah, right. It's just that it's it's harder, I assume, for China to try to contain it. Right. I, I'm not su I'm not super worried about it because we are not in the we are not in the demographic that uh, it's particularly dangerous. You Nor mean, like, are we're you not hanging in China? out at. No, I think you would have to be in an airport for one, around a lot of people for two. Yeah. And touching random things and well, like I people. mean, kind you of know, coming I, in or out of China. 
Well, I mean, okay, look, yeah. I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that that for for me, I have a far fetched but somewhat legitimate um, concern. Because, you know, I mean, it's still here the beginning of the year. They said that, you know, incubation time takes, you know, a week or two. And 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 I work with a lot of people that during the uh, Christmas holiday season went to visit their families in India and China. And, you know, and so um, when they come back, who knows, you know, right. who knows what airport they went through. So, okay, um, yeah, so that, so that part's legit, but I, you sure. know, I'm not super worried about it though. Yeah. My daughter's worried. I'm like, do you know anyone has been to China? <laughs> like, it's just like, no, I'm like, I don't, well, I don't know if anybody has been to China, but I do know, you know, I heard, I heard a lot of people talking about going back to Asia for a few weeks and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but most of the cases are in China. There's yeah. a few other. Oh yeah. And of the deaths, I think they're all just all in China. In China. Yeah. So. You could get it, but if people are being vigilant in terms of just, it probably is treatable. Yeah. Anyway, I just. I'm it's, not really worried about it. No. It's, to me, it reminds me of the whole swine flu thing. Everyone's like, oh my God. Right. It's coming. We're all going to die. I can stand to lose some pounds. Yeah. Well, I, this is respiratory, though. again. Uh -oh, no, it's burning, respiratory. Burning, uh, Burning, burning the candle on both ends. Yeah. Woo -woo. I don't think it makes you poop or puke. Yeah, it, it, it does. I it's think respiratory, it does. isn't it? You no, know, it is respiratory, but you, you get all you get you get all the side benefits. Mm. Mm. So you can lose weight. You can. All right. And I'm look in. good doing it. Uh-huh. Damn. And miss work for a few days. It's a body fluid fountain out of both ends. Uh, <laughs> what is <laughs> Thanks, that? Wilhelm. Thanks, Wilhelm. Yeah. Well. Oh, maybe we do media corner so we can stop talking about. Sex. Okay. <laughs> I've seen a lot of movies. Can't wait to hear all about the movies that you have been watching during. Unemployment, your unemployment. Let's hear about your movies that you've watched during your time not working on the anything. Media <laughs> Corner. I love the lyrics to that song. That was pretty great. Oh man, I saw 1917 last week. Ah, uh, very nice. Okay, it's really it's good. Is it a little distracting because you're uh, did you're just paying attention to the fact that it's uncut? You know, there's no. No real cuts. It's all one take. So that got for the first hour or so. That's all I could really think of. But after yeah. that, you get you get it more merged. It was, mm. it was good. It was good. Do it's not unlike that? Dunkirk, where it's not so much about characters so much as the event. Yeah, but it was good. I, uh, I I I need I need to see that. Yeah, it's um, good. It's good I, to see big. It's yeah. good to see big. Oh, oh for okay. sure. Okay, mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. I think it's be really difficult emotional. It is pretty no? emotional. I don't think it's yeah. as bad as Saving Brian Ryan. That oh, was man. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. But it is. I really? mean, it, okay. there's some sadness to it. Yeah. I mean, it's a war movie. There's, mm. there's nothing. The trailers, I was like, God, that looks rough. It's intense. It's really intense. Yeah. But they, they, they pepper some good pauses between. So, uh, What else did I see? The Lighthouse I saw, which was weird. Another Very good feel-good movie. movie. Yeah. So feel-good. Mm -hmm. Lots of farting. Um <laughs> Oh, of art. And mermaids. It was a strange movie. It was gorgeous, though. I mean, yeah. the, the film, just just to look at it is unbelievable because it's shot square ish. Hey. And all black and white. Uh -huh. So that you get the, the lighthouse in shots because it's so tall. So he's shot square mostly. Hmm. Eh, it's a very strange movie, though. Very strange. Hmm. What else did I see? Would you recommend think? it? Uh, not really, unless you're really into yeah. strange, arty, not sure what the point of it was kind of movies. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 91%. That's a yeah. lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's good. It's Tomatoes. just, I, I don't know that I quite got it or maybe I did and I thought there would be more to it. I don't know. Hmm. I don't it's know. a strange kind of horror film. Would you call it that? Cause <sighs> no, the Atlantic it's, would. 
I mean, I guess it's horror in the way that The Shining is. Kind of, kind of the the monster is isolation. Psycholo- psychological horror, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not like jump scares and like no. and psycho people Slasher. or anything like that. It's just weird and yeah. surreal. And well, you know, yeah. I heard that about those lighthouse people. It's not like, a bad movie. I would say if you're interested in seeing it, see it. I mean, it's. But it's well, that's, that's good generally advice. good advice for anything. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think that's Jeff probably the dumbest advice. Lord, <laughs> wow! If you're interested in if seeing I it, see it. <laughs> I mean, just saying, don't take my word for that. It being weird or anything like that. Like, you might like it I'm, a lot. I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm way in, and I'm going to Wikipedia. If you like ASAP. films, this might be one you like. <laughs> oh, I saw Jojo Rabbit too. Oh, no, yeah. now Man, that movie is unbelievable. Them. Jojo Rabbit is insanely good. Insanely. I don't good. even know all these movies. I I love Media Corner. Oh my goodness! Rabbit. It's what so the good. hell? What's it about? It's a uh, Taika Waititi. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you know him. He directed Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, what we do in the shadows. What we do in the shadows. He's, like a dark he was, comedy he about was the he was the uh, ba- <laughs> he was of. the bounty droid in the Mandalorian. Yes. Oh, and, dire- and directed an episode. I love of the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. He was uh, it's, uh, the it's, Stony guy in um, Scarlett Johansson yeah. in this. Yes. Wow, she's been busy. And so is uh, in my pants. Uh, what's Cole his Kidman? name? What's the guy? The name in Moon. Um, the guy in what? From Moon, Sam Rockwell is in it. Is well. Nicole Kidman in it? No. Does that just look like her? No. It's basically the end of World War II and how they were just recruiting young boys to be in the war. Uh-huh. And this is just one boy who's super into it. Uh huh. I see that. And he has Hitler as an imaginary friend. He's so into it. Wow. <laughs> but it goes. It, it turns very differently. It's very good. Hmm. Uh, definitely one of my favorite of the year. Well, I look forward to watching this one as well. I huh. saw Joker. Yes. Yeah. Did you? So and I did. And um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, Do you I, think it's the best movie of the year? No. Enjoyed it? No, no, no. I don't think so. It's a fantastic movie, but no, I don't think it's the best picture material. Is it winning best picture? I think it's, it's just winning best actor. It's up. best picture. It's, it's the front runner, if you will. Yeah, I, I don't, mm. but I don't know that it is. But then again, I haven't seen the other films, but I can't imagine that, I can't imagine that it, that it beats or, you know. Deserves well, to said, beat what, what, what's going to win though? What I, don't, would win? I don't know because I once I, upon a time in Hollywood, which was really haven't great yeah. haven't seen that. I don't know. That's really good. I mean, hopefully it, not the it, Irishman. Yeah. The Irishman was so. It, I mean, you know, it, the performance was great. The story was really interesting. It was very compelling. Joker. Yeah. The, yeah. <sighs> it's the comedian, which is uh, fun. Oddly enough, as a. Robert De Niro movie. Oh, King of Comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It the and and that's what I've read is like it's almost the exact same film. Yeah, it's very close to the same film. Um, but Joaquin is is he worthy of he's, all the no, awards? He's really he's great. Oh, it. yeah, Joaquin he is really he should totally win Best Actor now. Now, now I'll say that. Awesome. It was a really. What about great. everyone's hate on it for being just? Angry white men, which it is. It it is, but at the same time, it isn't. I mean, it's it's you know, it's. it's I think what annoyed angry, me is that people were, were were downplaying his mental illness. And yeah, he's just angry. I'm like, no, he was mentally disturbed. Yeah, he was mentally disturbed and or yes. mentally injured. I mean, like he was what dropped on his head or or yeah. what or what was it? I, I, well, it was I had a friend who like, then why do they have to put in the fact that he killed some or stalked some black woman and the the, the gets away mm-hmm. basically what they think with killing her and i'm like ah, i don't know i don't know that i i even really read into it that much yeah that i don't I, I don't i see but that might that, be my that's white up for privilege debate, though. I guess. well yeah that's up for debate i don't necessarily you could you could argue with both ways that that did or didn't happen um so you know did you you saw it right oh yeah okay so here, here was the discussion at work. Did any of that actually happen? Mm. Oh yeah. Right, I, uh, 
What happens at the like very the, end? Like the only thing that actually happens. Oh, they, they, the way they interact the is. End. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think any of it did. I think he he delusional. He's completely delusional. Yeah. I th- I mean, or uh, what's the uh, the other diagnosis? Uh, Schizophrenic. Yes. Like he, I think he literally story. imagines more than half of his life. Yeah. It's not actually happening. Yeah. He's just so like the whole that he's a comedian, that that's all. Oh, yeah. Like every, every do you think frame of that, that film up the, until the, the last minute or two. Do you think the TV show is even fake? Yeah. I think, yeah. I think it's, it's, it's plausible that every single bit of that was all in his head. Like him being praised and all that mm-hmm. stuff. None of that Everything. actually happens. Everything. It's I think like he kills Rick himself probably. Dream. No, I think no, I think the very very end where he goes running down the the hall and all that stuff. I think that part is real. He hasn't but not met getting Batman on the yet, t- so he can't kill himself. But not getting on the TV show? Mm-mm. Don't think getting I don't think getting on the TV show is real. I don't think that happened. Oh, I so the I think Joy the uh, the idea is that he is the inspiration for many jokers. Yeah. Oh. He is not the joker. He is a joker, the origin joker, and then there's other oh. people who copy him. So he will not necessarily ever meet Batman. No, no. Well, okay. If that happens in the movie, sort of, yes, yes, but not in the same way. Oh, right. No, because uh, the parents are still alive in this movie. That's right. Yes, Bruce's parents, mm-hmm. Bruce Wayne, mm-hmm. Wayne Industries, and his dad. Yeah. Yes. It's weird. That's a, they, they tie that together. That felt a little jammed to me. A little yeah. forced. Uh huh. Like I didn't really need that at all. Mm-mm. Like I, I think I would have enjoyed it more if it wasn't trying to be the Joker, right? But yeah, then it really it would have just... just been a new King of Comedy. Yeah, yeah. Right. But it still was good. It was more psychological. But putting the superhero thing on it, I thought felt unnecessary. Yeah, it probably got it more views. It probably. Oh, did, certainly. Sure. I look forward to seeing it. It's great. He, he does Not the best picture. Wonderful performance. Uh-huh. Well, he's but, winning uh, all kinds of awards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he will. He'll, I mean, he'll clean it up. But maybe. I, uh, Who knows? Yeah. I can never, I never know. Like Leo does great in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Do you like Tarantino yeah, well, movies? He's, he's yeah. cleaning up too, yeah. isn't he? Do you like newer or older Tarantino? Um, I'm trying to think what the last Tarantino movie I saw was. Did you see Inglorious Bastards or no, that Django was, Unchained or Hateful Eight? Django Unchained was the last one I saw. Didn't see Hateful Eight? No. Do you like older ones or newer ones like Pulp Fiction or older ones like Pulp Fiction? And- <sighs> Uh, you know, I because the, the, I like his newer stuff. More yeah, the old ones are stuff. fine, but I I don't know. I you know I was. So busy hanging out with you know people who wanted to suckle on the teat of Tarantino. Oh, well, yes, that you know, yes, and, I had a great deal of fans killing someone. Yeah, but I think uh, his old ones are very um, self indulgent. Yes, yes, there you go. Boom. That's, what I, oh, yeah. that's, that's what, what I yeah. That's why I like his I like his newer stuff a lot more, where he feels like he's mm-hmm. actually a lot better director. Where it's like yes. methodical, great. played out. I, and I think Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is everything that he does well. It's I look really, forward to seeing that too. It's really good. Hmm. I do love Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, and Brad Pitt together, and it's mm. funny. It's actually mm-hmm. very funny. There's a lot of really funny in it. It's not all that violent at all till the very, very, very end. Very rare for Mr. Tarantino. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So it's mostly all about a lot, a lot of pauses, a lot of talking, a lot of interactions. It's really good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot of good movies that came out this year. A lot. Hmm. This last year, whatever you want to say. Knives Out was a great movie. I recommend. I've heard a lot of people say that, yes. I saw Ford versus Ferrari, too, alone in a theater. Oh, I, how, I, is, that's like, is that real good? It was really good. Yeah. Yes. I've heard Unexpectedly it's... good. Stupid name. The problem, the name is dumb. The name is so the dumb. The name is dumb. So is it a, a law film? <laughs> no. It's a, it's a, it a car court film. procedural? Obviously. I know. No, it's really good. It's a very good movie. I cried a little bit. It was good. Oh. The rubber really hit the road for you, huh? Oof. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's Slap good. Your I'd dick. recommend that, too. It's really... Go in knowing nothing. You'll enjoy it much more. Okay. Well, I know nothing about it. Well. And I have not seen Uncut Gems. I have heard very mixed reviews about that. 
Very. The the uh, Adam Sandler movie? Yeah. yeah. I heard his mom liked it. <laughs> well, then, I guess we got to watch it. Like. Such a good boy. And Parasite. I had to see Parasite, too. I heard that was really good. Oh, yeah. That uh, uh, yeah, I, I, was I a really big win. That. Yeah. At the old GG's. Yes. Was it good? Well, and it's up for Best Picture as well. Yes, mm-hmm. it is, which is pretty cool for a foreign film. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it is good. I, I read about it, it on That's Wikipedia. On my li- it's on my list. Oh, okay. It's on my list. Do you list. want me to tell I you what happens? <laughs> <laughs> I re- you read the whole uh, plot? I no. Wikipedia any most movies. Pickawedia. Yep. Because she knows she's never going to go see it. That's <laughs> true. I've seen it or I read about it all. Yeah, so I can totally plot. talk about it. Just don't call out certain <laughs> scenes. <laughs> well, Jeremy, one day I'll go to movies more often. Well, I mean, I don't really go to them that often either. So it's, you know. But one day you will. One I day, someday. Yep, someday I will go back to f- watching film in the, the cinema. The children are, are on, not at uh, ages that they can go to these things right now. Yeah, yeah. But one day they will. I do yeah. afternoon movies, but... Yeah. I don't think Jeremy could probably get away with doing that. Yeah, no, some of us have not, jobs. Anymore. not anymore. I, I did it when I had a job. I would just I, it would be my work from it would be my work from home. Day. Oh, I mean, I would we would to, we would totally do it when when I worked at Barclay. Piper and I would go all the time. God yeah. damn! Do they just watch over your back now? Like, where are you going? What are you doing? Oh can no, you, I can, can you I work could, at, can I you work from home ever? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I could probably go do it. Sure, you should do it. Do you know. it. I don't even know that. They, 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 see, but the thing is, is there 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 are no there are no cinemas. Cinemas uh, near 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 where I could near yeah. where you live or in between well, where you live. No, I mean no. There's no there are, there are lots of them close to where I live. Then Fantastic one by where I live. I'm thinking more of like there's none by home. the office. Well, you should do a work from home and just go see a movie in the afternoon. Yeah, well, maybe. I think I might start doing this too. That's what I did. I would do one day work from home. I would go around lunchtime, see a movie, come back. It's basically like going to a long lunch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it I really is. I got stuff done. It's sure. not as if I didn't get anything done. It's right. Like, right. I'm going to go see a movie. Yeah. Hell yeah. And we have uh, those uh, see as many as you want passes from mm-hmm. one of the theaters here. So, yep. Yep. Doing that for a little bit. It's nice to get a break and to see something. Yes. And it is. not have to plan. For 50 people to go with you. That is also true. <laughs> and I can just enjoy it. And chuff. And laugh to myself. Like chuff. Yeah, I get chuff. A chuffed. You, you chuff. Chuff is, chuff is good. Chuff. Do you know Chafed. chuffed, right? Don't, don't chafe your chuff. Are there any other movies you want to discuss? <laughs> I'm wondering uh, about TV television shows. programs. Yes. Television, television programs. programs. Okay. There's an HBO. Do you like, uh, do you like um, Stephen King? I like Stephen King. Then The Outsider. There, is that is that is much talked about at work. Yes, they okay. they have they have said that's pretty fantastic. Ben Mendelsohn and I love Ben Mendelsohn and Jason Bateman. Is it spooky? N- it's intriguing. Spooky. And it's getting it's getting more and more spooky as you go on. But. Spooky. It's on HBO. Damn it, yeah, we do have HBO. HBO. I keep forgetting. Uh, <laughs> he said the last time I don't have HBO. Oh, I do have HBO. I do. I know. I just keep. Forgetting. Also, Stephen Kingy. Although I haven't seen it, but season two of Castle Rock is out on Hulu. Yes, my wife watches that. She loves that. Um, I really, really liked the first season. It was awesome. So I'm. Was I'm the excited. first season about the Misery Woman, or is that no? Season that's two? season two. Okay. First season was about. Um, Kind of Annie, Annie, that's her name. Uh, um, about well, it wasn't about any particular character, but it was um, this this guy that was locked up in the basement of Shawshank. So, I mean, it had a tie in, oh, but, it, but it was, yeah, hmm. it was really good. It was really good, and it was um, Bill Skarsgård, you know, and he <laughs> and he always looks creepy anyway. Now, is Jason Bateman in The Outsider? Yes, and directed. Oh, it's his directorial mm. movie. Okay. Well, he did Ozark, and I so know. this is just him doing it again, and it's really good. It's I see ben very Mendelsohn. intriguing. Like I, I got hooked pretty quickly on him. All right. I only have, I think, four episodes so far. Mm. So I far. I have been binging Letterkenny. 
<laughs> uh, do you hold your fingers in your pocket like that all day long? Uh, yeah, you know what? I found myself doing doing <laughs> that quite a bit. And, and, and talking like that? And th- to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Tuby fires. Yes. <laughs> yes. Tuba fires. Tuba fires. Yes. Uh, the hockey, oh the hockey bros. You know oh, what? Man. I have actually actually watched that show. You have actually watched that show. It's, yep. Like a year ago, Brian was binging yeah, it. Yeah. So there I you go. It yeah. That's some uh, of the best insults. Oh. Oh yeah. So good. Yeah. There are some really really funny episodes of Thanks. that. And it's got a good story to it too. You know. Yeah. So, they actually do weave a story. Yeah. No, yeah. it's yeah, Letter Kenny. I haven't, did you see that they do a cartoon now? Yep. Yeah. Little Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> like, come Little on. Kenny. I'm not sure I'm going to watch that. But I'm oh like, well, no. I mean, all the ep- none of the episodes are longer than like two minutes long. Oh, is it? Yeah, I mean, they're just like little shorts. Like, eh. Well, so the whole thing. Uh, I, I did some research, and the whole thing started. There's a series of YouTube videos, Wikipedia, that got the whole thing started, and so they're just like little two minute videos that are in the vein of how they start every episode so it's like you know so you're at your friend's breakfast the other day so was that my friend yeah and you know yeah. and yeah and, and so it's like wayne and daryl kind of going back and forth just like you know finishing yeah. each other's sentences for like a minute or two and that's just that's the video and there's like eight eight or nine of those i wonder if it's like outtakes and they just t- put a cartoon no this no it. these predate the these are what led to the oh, show they're original so it's mm-hmm. not a hulu thing that they bought mm-hmm. these are just like hey we're releasing way a long time ago well yeah well they well they they did the vi- they did the youtube videos which turned into a a crave tv which i guess is a canadian cable yeah it's station, canadian i remember then got turned into a hulu thing I remember by uh, the illustrator that worked for us at Chore Monster turned me on to Letterkenny. So it was quite a while ago. But yeah, yeah. I mean, the first it was episode. It really hard to find back then, though. First season was four years ago, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they they have a live show. Really? Yes. They will be coming to Kansas City on April 11th. It's 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 sketches. So it's like Kids in the Hall used to do. Kind of, yeah. A little bit. Mm-hmm. Them Canadians. Are you going to go? I'm very interested in it, yeah. Is it the Uptown? Uh, It's at – no, it's not at the Uptown. It's at the Midland. I think that would be fun. Speaking of Kansas City. Speaking of Kansas City. Oh, big Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. I'm actually very excited because the Chiefs have been my team since I was 13. Yeah. So I'm assuming you guys – will. no, you're not from Kansas City, so maybe it's just not as – it's an exciting time to be a Kansas Cityan. Does yeah. Oklahoma have a professional sports team? Um, basketball. Yeah. The Thunder. Okay. But that's not, basketball. That's basketball. But not football or be- see well, like Nebraska has football. zero. No, they they they, teams, they only so. they only have the NBA team and they have only had that for 10 years. Yeah. So see, we the Chiefs are our team, Jeremy. They, they are were the closest one. Yes. I just don't really do football. Oh. I mean, I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to put a lot of money on it. It's been but whatever, 50 years since they've gotten back. That's right. That's what I hear. Yeah. Wow, I'm excited. I'm going. My dad's flying me out so that he and I can watch together. Oh, well, there you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now, where's he flying you out to? Philly. And that's where he lives? Mm-hmm. That makes no, sense. It's, we just, just going to have a random meeting. Yeah. <laughs> just going to meet in Philly. <laughs> We're going to meet in Gross Point, uh, Michigan, uh, for no reason. Ah, sweet. You're going go to go. Other than I want to recreate one of my favorite movies and hopefully see <laughs> Martin Blank. And uh... <laughs> have uh, you seen Gross Point Blank, Jeremy? Have we talked so about so that many before? damn times. Good. Okay. Good. Oh dear. Because I will randomly quote that movie because I just love it. I don't. I don't. Oh, I don't do it. I ingest it. I'm, Order for my neurophysiologist. Sorry. So yeah, Kansas City, yay, yay, yeah, it's gonna be great. Everybody get drunk. Um, I know half no. of our office is taking off Monday. Yeah, they probably should. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably a good idea. It should be a national holiday. Right. Well, hopefully Wednesday there will be a parade. Well, that's yeah. We were we camp. we actually at at dinner were were discussing the oh. logistics of of. Parade. You know, yeah. If if mm-hmm. 
that Where would happens, they then pretty the sure that there will be no school. Oh, right. I forgot about the Royals. I know, no school, right? Yeah. Do you guys want to do that off. question thing yet, or do you want to keep talking oh, yeah. about football? Oh, yeah. Hell's, hell's yeah. No, I just wanted to say Jeremy, what choose. about you? Um, Give me a question. Okay. But thank you. Congratulate. You know what? Go Chiefs. Okay. Who wants to go first? Questions from the internet. So good. So good. Who wants to go first? Well, I think he needs to go first this time because I went first last Paul? time. That's true. He? Yeah. You speak he, of Paul. I, he. He. Okay. That guy, I, he. The other guy. I, he. I go. He. <laughs> Paul. Mm. And like you said. First. This isn't like a, yeah, like a lot of thinking. Would you open an envelope that has the date of your death inside? No. Jeremy? Hard no. Does anyone want to elaborate? No, I just would look at it and be like, no, are you kidding me? I'd rip it up and throw it away. I would fart on it. (laughs) I think I would open it. Nobody asked me, but I think I would. Well, are we supposed to ask you, or no. are you just the facilitator? That's no, the, I because think I was I confused give about an this last time. Yeah, if you want, if you want to answer, if we're I want to give an answer, I'll just do it. Okay, <laughs> okay. well, you okay. do. You. Yeah, no, I got enough shit to worry about. I'm, I'm not gonna. Hey, I'm not gonna be preoccupied. I'm already ang- anxious but, about. But here's if my I'm thinking. Throw up soon. Yeah. Then I wouldn't worry about it. Then I'd be like, oh, it's that date. And if it's like two days from now, I'm like, fuck you. And I just do whatever I want. And if it's like yeah. 80 years from now, I'm like, I guess I better keep trudging on. No. I'm just thinking about it. That nope. way. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, okay. So now we're going to ask Jeremy first. This is interesting. What do you do differently from other people? That, that is a um, well, I mean, apparently, according to work, wipe my ass differently. <laughs> <laughs> is there more than one loud Wait, ass wiper? Are you <laughs> saying that this whole time I feel, you've been the phantom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have. No, I just had, I'm starting to feel like I'm doing it wrong because I, I, I feel everywhere? like I feel like, yeah, yeah I feel you're like there are multiple ass phantom wiping. ass wipings. Are you sticking your whole finger in with the toilet paper or something? (laughs) Getting in there good and deep, you know? I'm just not sandpapering it. Like picking your nose, right? Yeah. Uh, Get in there. Get get in and out. That's what I say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I mean, that's what comes to mind. That's a good one. I love it. First first response. What about you, Paul? (sighs) Yeah. I don't know. That's difficult. I've never heard anyone say I do different anything different. Well, don't think about what other people say. Is there something that you think like I wouldn't, I wouldn't certainly know. no one else does it this way? I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's okay. Uh, that's a difficult uh, question. Uh, no one doesn't eat breakfast? I don't know. That's not true. No. I don't eat breakfast. I don't either. <sighs> Nobody. Ooh. We'll just move on. Yeah, that's a tough one. Okay. Paul. I'm not self aware. This one's very interesting. Do you ever get the feeling that the current day has been repeated a hundred times? <laughs> yes. Sure, we've all ground all day, haven't we? Yeah. I don't know. Especially because I work at home. I feel like every day is the exact same day every day. Oh, I'm going to get up and movie. be at home. I'm going to get up and I'm going to still be at home. And I'm going to get up again and still be at home. And then I'm going to get up again and still be at home. Like, yes, of course. Yeah. I mean, maybe Jeremy? not 100 times, but it's 87 times. More often. Yeah, so over 50%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I don't know that I would say 100 times, but there, there's definitely some, there's definitely some, some clogging and groundhogging. Like going, blocks of time, especially the box I feel of, like, oh my God, the box of time. This time yes. of year when it's cold AF and you yes. don't get any days off work for holidays. This one, I feel like groundhogging. You get looped. You're getting into the, the long Leaper. period. Leaper. Mm-hmm. Uh, getting my period. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, what? No, no response to that. What happened? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. 
I don't know either. I heard looper and then period. Um, okay, you want some more? Time. Give, give us a couple more. All give right, more. Jeremy. Time would bandits. you Would you obey an order to hurt someone? Would I obey an order to hurt someone? Um, well, I mean, you know, you could argue that if you're firing somebody – um, you're you're hurting them emotionally, Let's and I've say had to do it's that. Physical. Oh, <sighs> depends on who it is. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Let's say. Okay, it's a stranger. It's someone you you don't know at all, and the order is to, um, hit him over the head with your Glock. Is that the right word? <laughs> um, that would Jeremy be hard curious. to do because I'm not packing heat. Uh, no, I would actually find that to be very difficult because what did that guy get, do to, to would you do get, it? My, would you be, get my Glock slapping? No. So you wouldn't do not, it? Not, not, no, no. Okay. What if it was someone who wronged you? They would have had to have really, really done me pretty wrong. Has anyone ever done you wrong enough to hit him with your Glock? No. Can't say I've ever done that. Okay. Can't say I've ever done that at all. I feel like you would not obey an order to hurt someone. Um, it would, it would, it would have to be, it would have to be pretty compelling to do that. Okay, Paul, yeah, would no. you obey an order to hurt someone? No, I don't obey anyone's orders. Yeah, <laughs> who's ordering me to do that? I'm like, eh, just tell them to fuck off. I wouldn't. Maybe I would beat up the person that tells me to do that. That might be the one person I, I would beat up. <laughs> what? I would physically <laughs> harm them. Like, go hurt this person. Like, no, I'm going to hurt you instead because you're an idiot. But no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't either. Like, I don't even have to. I wouldn't even rethink it. What in what world is it like someone orders you to do something like, oh, yeah, I have to do it now. Well, I think if you're in the military, that's. Yeah, that must be a very militaristic thought, because which is why I would never be in the military. But I also am the person who's like, even if I was a fan of guns, I wouldn't own one because I'm never going to shoot someone. And people are like, what if they're attacking your kids? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to shoot them. I'll attack them. I'll fucking hurt them, but I'm not going to shoot them. I'm not going to kill somebody. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm going to amend my, I'm going to amend my, my answer. Okay. I would totally do it. But the only thing that I'm going to do is give titty twisters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You didn't, they didn't painful. say how much kind of, what kind of, what kind of right. hurting. That's right. What Willie? Totally. Oh, I'll, those, I'll are, those are real fuck painful. Out somebody. Yeah. Those Get in that could give you the coronavirus. <laughs> Two <though>. knuckles. <laughs> that might give you the yeah, coronavirus. Yeah, don't do it in China. Yeah, don't yeah. do it in China. Yeah. Okay, one more? One more. Yeah. Okay, Paul, mm. how do you want to be remembered? Let's say you open the envelope, you know what day you're going to die. Oh. How do you want to be remembered? Uh, Someone that cared for people and always did his best. No. I think you should play that outro music, Jeremy, because that was <laughs> pretty great. That's all you want. You're not like, as a famous rich man. Nah. Nah. Ugh, Paul, you're, the, you're great. <laughs> Jeremy? Uh, I would say someone who tried to make the world a better place by m- making better people. Mm. And you're not talking just of your children. You just mean right. by right. the people around you, the people yeah. you come in contact with every day. Yes. God damn, guys. That's good. We're going to write a book. <laughs> These are both really put good. put it on Medium and Jeremy Cerner UX. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, good. Great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we just went for it. We didn't even pause. No, no pausing. The, no. I know. The, and that's, I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was kind of hoping like I had like a weird about... thing that I did. I don't, I don't know what I, you have to be pretty self-aware I to know, think that you do something different than other one, uh, anyone else. And I don't know that Here's I'm that self-aware. I'm, I'm pretty sure that my th- thinking like, um, the way that Your my thought brain processes works. are different. Yeah. Not the thought process, but just the way my, the amount of shit that my brain does at one time. I don't think 
at least I hope it's not the way everybody's brain works. Okay, but then what's the got, first word that comes to mind? What? What's say the first thing that comes out of your brain? Blue. Well, that's all she wrote. Being honest. Jeremy hoping for a different word. He's hoping for anything. He got a word. He got blue. I'll find well, we really something from earlier in the episode. <laughs> I mean, I can just say words to you right now if you want. <laughs>